What's going on everybody? It's Becca Switzer with Nirvana by Nature and Roof Sales Mastery. And today I really want to talk with you about something that really changed my viewpoints um, and my experience on earth, which is all about the idea of the beliefs that we hold. One of the most valuable things I think I ever did to change the way that I see the world and the way that I interact with others and make decisions or form beliefs is to question everything I thought I believed. Where did those come from? Where did these beliefs come from? Especially as a young person. Like as a young person, we adopt, we're conditioned heavily, whether you realize it or not. You're not born with belief systems. You're born into love, right? Everybody on this planet, every single thing, whether you're a chipmunk or a human being, just opened its eyes and had consciousness here on earth. And you look down, you go, oh, I guess I'm a human. <laughs> I guess I'm, you know, a Hispanic person. I guess I'm Asian. I guess I'm, I have a learning disability. I guess I'm born to an impoverished mother with a drug addiction. You don't get to choose, right? We just wake up. And some of us are born white in middle to upper class America and life is very easy, right? And you don't get to make that choice either. But what I started to do was with every type of belief that I thought that I held, whether it was about a woman's right to choose or about drug use or weed, right? Or any of those belief systems that I thought that I had, very, very strong religious beliefs, this is right and this is wrong. I just finally started in my mid twenties thinking, are those even mine? <laughs> and I realized that as I really asked myself questions and I had just shared a, a status today on my other social media that I said, strong questions are much more valuable than strong beliefs. And I 1000% encourage all of you to really listen to that and let that sink in because that can change the world. Like if you find that you're somebody who has very, very strong uh, opinions about something, especially if you're a young person, you've not had different experiences, you don't have a lot of diversity, you've not had a lot of life experience, you've never really left the country, you know, and you have very, very strong political or religious views or anything like that, ask yourself where they came from. Why, why do I actually think that? Is that, is my belief a result of real education on all of the options out there? all of the mindsets, circumstances, cultures? Is it really a result of critical thinking that's aligned with my values? Or is it a deeply conditioned belief that's the product of living at home with my parents and hearing what they have to say and listening to one news station my whole life? And so, you know, if you grew up in the Nancy Reagan dare era, then we were taught that smoking weed was gonna leave you a deflated balloon on your, off, your dad's office couch, likely to put a gun in your mouth. <laughs> and if you never explored that to find the real truth and to explore the opposite side and you just watch TV, you'd still be believing that. And you'd be engaging in the dr war against drugs, which is incarcerating millions of people unnecessarily every single year and causing people to die, okay? If you never questioned whatever religious thing that you grew up with, whatever it was, and then that's all you've ever known. And you live your entire life telling people they're gonna go burn in a fiery pit. You're probably not gonna make a lot of friends. <laughs> and you're also not gonna realize that maybe that's not the truth. Maybe I didn't come to that conclusion. I, was grow I grew up just having these stories and these beliefs hammered into me all the time, right? So where did your beliefs come from? And then can you have the humility to say, maybe I don't know. <laughs> maybe the opinion that I hold is not really educated. It's not backed by me knowing both sides. And it's also not based on my own personal judgment, right? For example, like you have to have the humility to say, 
maybe my opinions, my political views that I hold so tightly and parade around are not that valid because I'm 25 years old and I still live with my parents. Okay? And maybe it's, maybe my worldviews and how things should be and how our country should operate and stuff like that, maybe my opinions aren't that valid <laughs> because not only am I 25 years old and still live with my parents, but the only international travel I've done is on a sandals cruise and have been on a resort in Jamaica <laughs> for six days, <clears throat> right? Maybe if your views are very, very extreme on drug use, but you've actually never tried psychedelics, you've never actually studied what MAPS has studied, and you've never really been around people who have done a ton of research and have a ton of experience, to you, then maybe your opinion's not that valid. And it's okay. It is okay to say, whoa, I actually, I don't think that's actually what I believe and I don't know where that belief came from, right? <laughs> if you recognize that you are the 25 year old person who still lives at home with mom and dad, has never had to go out and face real adversity, make a life for yourself, see the real job market, and all you ever hear is Fox News, and you think those are your beliefs? You're kidding yourself. If you showed up on this earth with no parents, let's just say, okay, hypothetically, you showed up, you didn't have parents, you made it to adulthood, you went through life here, there was no Fox News. You weren't constantly being told rhetoric by your immediate family or the people that you work with, right? Or your teachers that also maybe had an agenda and their own beliefs that they imposed on you. What beliefs would you have? You'd be a fool to say, oh, I'd believe the same things today because you wouldn't. <laughs> and what can actually help you here, something that's really helped me is instead of having these divisive views, whether that's political or Relig religious or, or whatever it is, okay? There's far left and far right. This side's arguing that side. If you don't have a strong set of personal values that's guiding your beliefs, you're just playing ping pong and picking one side. There's no critical thinking there, okay? If instead you say, my values are such that what I want, what, what I'm aligned with to believe is, Everybody deserves to be here. You know, like one of my values is based off of, or is uh, described really eloquently by Albert Schweitzer, who is a philosopher. And one of his quotes says, I am life that wants to live amongst life that wants to live. And he says, true philosophy stems from that initial belief system. And when I shifted into that and I go, dang, how lucky am I? I'm life that wants to live and wants to have a good life experience, right? And how lucky am I that I'm a healthy white woman that was born in a first world country. My parents didn't struggle financially. I could go to school, right? How can I make my beliefs off of just that if I don't know what it's like to be born into poverty, into a system that is made to make me fail? Let's say that I'm born in the fucking ghetto and the school systems are funded by property taxes. Property taxes are super low because it's in the ghetto, okay? So the people that they can hire are not that good. The, the education is poor. And then I get out of there and I'm supposed to go into the world and have success. That's not gonna happen, right? And if I don't really consider that fact and that truth as a white privileged woman, then how can I possibly form strong opinions about how the world works if I have no idea what that's like and I haven't purposely taken action to understand it. If you've, if, what if you were born into a country, you and your, you, you wake up, you're a baby, <laughs> and you've lived in a country that there's genocide happening just because of the color of your skin or the culture that you came from. And you're a mom and you have this baby and you love your child, you've created this life and all you want is to have a good life for your child. You want them to be able to grow up and play sports and have friends and be free and not worry about 
being murdered in the middle of the night in your small village, right? And hung from a bridge simply because of the color of your skin. Wouldn't you want to flee to a free country like America? Right? Like you won the lottery if you're already living that life. You won the lottery if you woke up here. And how close-minded and insensitive and unfair is it to have beliefs that would exclude somebody who wants to have a better opportunity for their life? Again, it goes back to values. I'm life that wants to live amongst life that wants to live. And because I know what I want for my life, like the best that I could have, and, and maybe take it out of your hand. Think about if you had a daughter or a son, right? Somebody else that you love so much, <laughs> you know, your best friend. If they didn't win a ticket to the lottery with their birthright, okay? And they wanted to have a better life. What would you want for them? We should all want for each other what we want for ourselves. And where that doesn't come from is exclusivity, judgment, racism, tribalism, okay? Xenophobia, those, those aren't love. So the value, one other thing that I've shared before is two things I try to live my life by are do no harm, approach everything with love. And that takes away Republican, Democrat, Catholic, agnostic, left, right, conservative, liberal. It takes all of that away. And it helps me to realign my heart center with what's truly right. What's aligned with life? What's aligned with love? And now what are my beliefs? And it's okay to go through a period I did where I was just like, I erased everything. It was like my life was this giant marker board that had yes and no and right and wrong and lots of red marker and black marker and circles and X's all over it. And I realized none of that's mine. I could admit it. I didn't know anything about the world. I couldn't argue both sides, right? That's another great indicator. If you hold a strong opinion about something or a strong party opinion, let's just say politically, have you, are you able to argue the other side? I saw somebody share a great exercise one time recently that said, when I was in school, in college, they asked us, what's a topic that we feel very, very firmly about, very strongly about? Like for example, abortion is wrong or uh, drugs are bad, <laughs> okay, or, or whatever it is. We should close the borders, no immigration, something like that, all right? What the assignment was, was write that down, Okay, your duty, your assignment is to write a paper on the exact opposite. I want you to argue to the death, the exact opposite. And I thought, I've thought this before, but it's such a brilliant exercise because most people who have strong beliefs, they don't know anything about the other side. They can't argue the other side. And if you can't argue the other side, how is your side valid? You don't know. You know, there's that, I think it's an Everclear song that's like, then you really might know what it's like to have, to choose, to lose, right? If you've never heard those songs, what it's like. It's a great song. Um, the lyrics just help you put into perspective. How can I tell another person what to do? How can I be a part of making the rules of the world or construction, constructing cultural rules, right, uh, that marginalize other people if I don't have any idea what it's like to be impoverished? sick from a country where there's genocide happening or there's a war and all I want to do is get my toddlers out of there, right? So what are your values? Where did your beliefs come from? Can you admit to yourself that mom and dad only watch Fox News and I've never left home? Okay, can you admit that? Can you say, huh, can you take that marker board that I just described, right? If, if your life is, let's just say you start, you're born and the marker board is clean and you're just like, I'm alive, <laughs> just like you, chipmunk, just like you, Charles Barkley, <laughs> right? I'm alive, here I am. It was a blank slate. That's the truth. If you can't admit that to yourself, you're in a bad spot. It's a blank slate. And over time, we are heavily conditioned by parents, teachers, the culture we're in, the small town we grew up in, whatever it is, okay, the church we went to, right, the dogma we were fed, the propaganda we were fed by the government, you've only watched one news channel your whole life, which the news in general is just so, it's all propaganda, so much of it is fake, we don't know what's true, even if you think you've done your research, how can you prove those sources, right, for example, 
Fox News blatantly, this isn't all about Fox News, by the way, it's just an easy example that I think everybody can relate to, that they released a story with a picture on the cover of a man with a mask on and, a, and an automatic weapon outside of a peaceful protest in Seattle. And everybody called them out on that. They're like, that's two different photos photoshopped together. And th that's happening every day. There was a peaceful protest where people were being super cool to each other. And Fox News stirred the pot and photoshopped somebody with an automatic rifle in their hand in front of it for, for fear. If you can't admit that that's what's happening and that's what you're being influenced by, what are you doing? Are you willfully ignorant? Do you want peace and love and a beautiful place for people to grow up and live and experience life on this planet? Or do you want to be ignorant and closed-minded and exclude people and make it harder for other people to live? Like, you have to not be so, you are not your beliefs. Your beliefs are just this thing that came. You're born with the clean slate marker board. And over time, good, bad, right, wrong, yes, no, circles, crosses, punishment, shame, all of these things deeply polluted who you are. And you have to have the courage to take an eraser and erase it all back to clean and admit, maybe, I don't know anything. I actually don't. Nobody does because we were just born here, right? I'm going to hammer that home so many times. We were just, we just showed up here. So if you can start from that point and go, what do I, what do I believe? What have I believed? But what do I really want for other people? You know, what's the golden rule? What do unto others is you'd want them to do unto you. And if any of your beliefs marginalize or kick people out or exclude people or make it hard for them to live and have a good life experience, you'd really benefit from questioning those beliefs because you saying, I choose this that makes these people suffer, that means you're choosing the same thing for somebody else to choose something against your will to make you suffer. So we should all be on the same page with our values, which is I'm life that wants to live amongst life that wants to live. Live and let live. I wanna be here to be free and happy and safe and be able to live the, the life that I feel is aligned with me. And I want you to be able to do the exact same thing. And as Thomas Jefferson once said, I'm going to paraphrase because I can't quite remember exactly how it goes, but he says, so long as my neighbor does not pick my pocket or break my leg, what do I care? <laughs> right? Like, let them live. We don't care if they're gay, straight, black, white, yellow, rich, poor, okay, Muslim, Christian, agnostic, atheist. What do I care? You choosing your life path and me honoring that fully, even if I don't agree with it, it was, even though I wouldn't choose it for myself, is the same thing that is allowing the opposite to be true for this person to allow my experience. And we have to thank each other for honoring our life experience, but we have to be kind to each other. It has to start there with loving values. I hope that resonates with you guys. And just, you have to have the courage to separate your, your being, which is just consciousness. You are not your beliefs. You are not Christian or Democrat or right wing or left wing. You're not any of those things. You're just consciousness. And every idea that you have in your head is just that. It is just an idea. It's just a concept and you didn't invent it yourself. So ask yourself the tough questions. Where did it come from? Is that truly the truth? Can I argue both sides so that I can even say I'm making an educated belief, right? Because if you can't, it's not an educated belief. And do you have the courage to erase it all away and start over by redefining your values first and approaching it from I'm life that wants to live amongst life that wants to live? Try it. It'll change your life. I know it changed mine. Let's make life easier for each other, you guys. Let's make the planet a beautiful place to live, full of diversity, full of fun, full of love, new experiences, and just make it safe for each other to live the life we want to live. Love you guys. Hope that resonated with you. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.